Colombia is a whole country with a lot of music, which is old music that is very new for the world. All right, I'm ready. Well, my name is Elkin Robinson, out of a Providence Island. They come from Old Providence Island, a snippet of land which belongs to Colombia and has nearly 5,000 inhabitants. It's located in the Caribbean Sea, where Spanish conquistadors and English Puritans landed many centuries ago. These islanders are also the descendants of European pirates, buccaneers, and African slaves. In Providence, um, well, a whole culture um, was born, you know. We have um, our language, that is the Creole, right, that is, is based on English, but is, is also an African accent and African words. And then, um, well, the music, we get music from all around the world. We receive the influence of the African music also in the Calypso. But we also received what is the pasillo that came from the south of Colombia. We received the country music from, from the US, and we received the music from Europe, like the polka from Poland, the Scottish music, the, the chatis, the, the, the waltz. So we have, a, I mean, a whole mix of, of everything. Este instrumento es una quijada de caballo, es de la parte inferior, hay que usar una yegua que se da mejor sonido. Pues estos dientes, como pueden ver, es la que te da el sonido cuando no la golpea. The music I do, I define it as Caribbean folk, you know, and well, the folk music that influenced Jamaica, but also the U.S. The instruments used include the acoustic guitar, the horse jawbone, and the wash tub bass. The wash tub represents uh, the meaning of folk, folk music. You know, it's like you, you, you make instruments out of what you got. And it represents the whole diaspora of African people that arrived to the Caribbean, you know, and they had to represent their sounds in Africa. With what they could, with what they had, and what they had was a wash tub to wash clothes and turn it into an, 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 an instrument. Elkin's music represents centuries of evolution, and his contribution to the Caribbean folk sounds are the new melodies that represent the island. It's very different from, from what maybe people outside the country know as Colombian music. Colombia is, 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 is a country with a lot of um, different culture and gastronomy and, and, and views, you know, and climate. So if you go to, to Pacifico, you know, the music are very African. You know, maybe you go to the coast, is, you have more like uh, the cumbia and vallenato, you know? So, I mean, is, the, the problem is that if what we do can be defined as Colombian music or in the coast or in the Pacific, is that the image that the people have about what is Colombia, and that image is changing. People is learning more that Colombia is so many things, so many different things, you know? But, I mean, if we're talking about like, the root of, of, of our music, well, it's more Anglo, no? It's more Anglo, it's, it's, it's African, and maybe what happened in the rest of Colombia is more Spanish, you know? So maybe that can be like the, the gap of, of difference. His songs are inspired by the charm of the Caribbean paradise, and narrating their daily encounters, hopes and dreams, while delivering positive messages are a must. I wanted to sing well, positive music, just positive message. Talk about the good things, 
you know, about the love, about the gastronomy, about the fishermen, them, about the sea, uh, the mountains, the, uh, um, I mean, all those things that, that make us who we are, you know. I, I, I didn't want to put attention on, on the things that not going to take me anyway. I think about those things about the culture. Um, I know that in the culture there are also bad things. But so I try to emphasize on, on, on the good things. When it's time to talk, I will talk about the bad things. That's okay. But I music is a train that I wanted to use for, for good message. I was fishing up from eight years. Then I fishing is also an important part of their identity, and catchy songs are not all they produce. George Hyman is not only Elkin's uncle, but his backup singer and a maraca expert as well. I had love for your music. He explains the story behind his unique necklace. Yo, yo fui que pesqué el tiburón este, cartílago del tiburón. O sea, spirit diving. I was spirit dive with gun and get him. Corta en pedazos. Los huesos y después lo pone en sol como 10 días y todo listo. Tiene su hueco para poner todo ahí. As part of an international tour, Elkin Robinson and his group bring their Caribbean heat to the cold streets of Washington. And I see Colombia music going really, 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 really. Not only the music, the language, the Spanish language is taking over the world. In Providence, well, I'm like the first artist um, that is, you can say, coming out of, out of the island and traveling the world. And, but there's a lot of talent, a lot of young people that believe in, in their music, no? not in the mainstream, but in, in their music, and, and also in Colombia. So I see a great future for our culture and music in Colombia.